Yo, what's up dudes? We are here at NAM 2020 with Greg from the Vola booth and Greg is going to give us a quick rundown of everything in the Vola booth and uh, well, maybe not everything. <laughs> we'll skip the chairs, but everything else we will cover, mostly guitars. Yeah. All right, take it away, Greg. All right, real quick. We'll go to this wall, the main okay. wall. Oh, I'll take the mic. Oh, I almost dropped it. Our main guest of honor, uh, our new signature artist, Michael Keane and his new signature guitar. I can say signature one more time. It's a, a mean green Keen machine. It's his uh, custom model we made for him. It's a USA made uh, the Keen machine, we're calling it. It's a kind of a Zenith body. It has an Aries uh, 3 over 3 headstock. Ebony fingerboard. It has Luma, inlay in, uh, Luma inlays, I guess we call it, right? EMG 8185s. We, you know, we did a Goto. Uh, floating trim instead of the oh is it closer is that better um, we went with the Godo made a Japan bridge it's a not it's a little cleaner uh, smoother and a little more comfortable for Michael when he's on stage uh, five-way super switch and we did like a clear pick art over it kind of what we do on those Zenus he really liked that on the back a little different is there our neck through joint and a little cutaway for your hand there and the nice little uh, battery pack at the bottom. These come in uh, two different versions. If I scroll over here, we have a little more classy looking one. This is a. I like this one. He likes this one. Nice light little burst, purple burst. Mahogany body, three piece maple neck. Same, uh, the green one has the same woods, except for the maple top. So we did a crazy finish on there. Uh, on to the next wall. Over here, our new made in Japan roasted maple neck, Oz. This has a, a new white finish. Kind of a little pink hue to it. I'm not sure if Steve, have, have you seen this yet, Steve? I have not. I have not. <laughs> but a couple new colors. Uh, the main thing is uh, a roasted maple neck. And we changed our C-shape a little bit, so it is a little smaller and a less less wide on the sides. Uh, we took some feedback about that, and uh, it's also a satin finish. So that's a big difference, to having the satin finish over the gloss. Um, that's a bit a uh, pretty popular one. That comes in that vintage white and the uh, sunburst. And then uh, some of the Vastis right here, this cardinal red one, nice classy color. And the vast ease, I'll show you here, click it. Has a little DB boost on the bridge pickup. Pretty sweet, huh? And this has a newer C-shaped neck and also satin, uh, the maple neck, the skunk stripe there. Some uh, cool ones over on this side. These are uh, new for, we de we debuted them at Summer NAM, the uh, ROA models. I can't remember if you did a walkthrough or we talked to NAM, but I'll show them again. We did it. Uh, these are ash tops, and we do a satin finish with a multicolor on this one, this DSC model. Uh, ash top, grain, you can feel the grain still coming through, and nice silver metallic under the airbrushed paint job there. And this also has the roasted maple neck mahogany body with their own proprietary made in Japan Vola pickups and a Goto trim Goto locking tuners check those out pretty nice and these have uh, three different colors it's the DSC this nice purple the OGD it's like an orange to gold fade dip type finish and then uh, this one's pretty neat it's the luminous and this actually glows in the dark, that white finish. So, pretty neat there. Same mahogany body, roasted maple neck. And these have that new C shape as well. Very comfortable. Um, new for 2020, USA Forte models. I'll show you a little bit here. This is for our good friend, Judge Fred. He's a France artist of ours. Uh, he wanted something a little more different, bigger, rocking. 
So we had a nice candy apple red, uh, two tone kind of finish. It's got the F for the Forte there. A nice sparkle to it. There's SP Custom Pickups made in France. A nice little custom headstock cap. And these are uh, hip shot hardware, it's all nickel. Set neck design. I don't know if you can see the. Try to get in the color, the light here. Catching it. Pretty fancy. So one more thing. Oh, they're all gone. We'll go over here. Follow me this way. You don't see the back of my head like a Disneyland tour guide. Come this way. These are uh, made in Japan seven string models. It's a gloss black, bolt on neck. More of a thin D shape. Um, not super thin. I would say it's more like uh, 20 millimeters. Uh, but it's not round, it has a little flat flatness to it. So really smooth, really comfortable. That's our own uh, uh, pickups in there. And the Floyd Rose seven string. Go rock out with those. So uh, to my left are lefties. So a lot of people actually don't bring lefties and amps. So they're walking by, they're pretty jazzed about our lefty uh, display, I guess. It's pretty early right now, kind of still tired. It's hard to talk. Now I heard you had some bases this year. You have a new base? Hey, guess what? On this wall, we have a whole new line of bass guitars. If you come this way, so to start, these are our signature model for Steve. Hey, where is Steve? I don't know. He's gone. These are made in the USA. It's a the vast E bass relic. Oh, here he is. Come on, sir. Say bonjour. Bonjour. He's French. Hello. Say hello. Hello. He's English. <laughs> yeah, that's English. <laughs> yeah. These are his new signature model, Vasti Bases. Five string, multi scale, Seymour Duncan pickups, hip shot hardware. It has a dark glass preamp in here. Um, I can't remember what each knob, each knob does, but I'm sure he does. Sorry? The knobs. <laughs> I had knobs. Which one's which? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a brother. It's a bird's eye roasted maple neck, roasted maple fingerboard. Um, two different colors, ash swamp ash body, so not not too heavy, pretty comfortable. And it's a large base, and it looks good on him. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is a, a USA made one too. We came out with it's a four string version. Nice uh, shiny gold finish, roasted neck. This one is a, a has some bird's eye in there. Nice battery pack. See more Duncan pickups. And then I can't really reach it, but the red one up there, and the one sunburst on the bottom. Those are made in Japan ones. Really nice necks. Uh, we're going to be coming out with a few more uh, in like March. More stock for those. Those are the only ones left. People want them, so I can't sell them. I need them for shows. <laughs> so that's the gist of it. We got one more, maybe. If they're there, we can check. I think they're stringing them up. Uh, nope, they're not there. So this wall, there would be Khadija Signature Model 7 strings. I think they're uh, practicing right now, so they're not here. Do you have one? Oh, hey! I found one in the wild. Two. This is Quentin. Hello, Quentin. Hello. Say hello. How are you, guys? Why don't you tell them a little bit about your guitar here? So basically, we, we went on the O's model, but for seven string. So um, it's an older body. Uh, you have a rusted uh, bird's eye maple neck, one, one piece. Um, the pickups are barnacle. This is the juggernaut, and this is the tri trilogy suites, single coils. And uh, yeah, basically it's a seven-string uh, Stratocaster type of guitar, if I can say it. And uh, 
And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this at the moment. So it's a beautiful guitar and uh, I love it like so fucking much. It's perfect. Thank you. He loves it so fucking much. <laughs> and that's the uh, Volo booth, I would say. If you want to see something else, got some Lunas we can go over. Sure. Let's see some sweet Lunas. Over here, actually, some cool colors. It's a new new Luna colors for 2020. It's a nice tangerine orange. It's uh, pretty dang shiny. Hopefully you catch it in the light there. And this is called a uh, Napier Green. It's like a Lambo color. That turned out really nice. This has a, a D shape as well. Really thin. And the body's kind of spherical, I would say. If I could catch that. So being that thin, that's why that input jack's uh, on the front. And it fits actually most input jacks. Imp input cables. And this guy is just a nice natural mahogany. You can see in the light, with the, it's got some nice quilt to it. Figure, nice figure. Again, the uh, Goto Bridge. That's our own Vola pickups. So. All right, I think that concludes our lay tour of the Vola booth. And as you say, au revoir. And he can like pan out to that sign or zoom in maybe. Peace out everyone.